Hi, Sirius Rus here, back with another Ordinal Marker video, it was at 51, and the realization came to me that I need to get, I need to go into this Omega Challenge and assign, um, like, something like 1 and 8, because I think that was the recommendation, 1 and 8, so I can get booster upgrades in Challenge 8. I think that may be a pretty crucial, it will be a pretty crucial thing. However, there still is this time wall before um, 1 million ordinal points, and I think I need to do this with every base. So yeah, that, that's not very fun. I probably should turn off the Factor Shift Auto Prestige, because I think I'm going to try to get as far as I can in Challenge 8, I think. Or at least use booster upgrades. And of course, I should also be using these, at least in some way. I, 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 it looks like I can only use this build guess I could also get one of these, but that doesn't really do anything. Um, here is E6 ordinal points. I, yeah, I need this so I can actually factor shift down to base 6. The problem is it's buying the maximize auto buyer. Also, I'm not even I'm not even using the successor auto buyer. I, there's already too much decrementy. Um, but here, here we go. I, th I think I want to go to base 5. I think that's the... I think that's what I need. So, base 5... Um, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh yeah, booster upgrades. Maybe, maybe I'm somehow... Oh, I have 24 boosters. How do I have 24? I thought I had like 8. Um, does, is this baseless milestone? I, I, I'm real, I'm really, really no idea how I have 24 boosters. Do I have any like factor boosts? Maybe that, that's the reason. Gotta go here and just like go... Um, I have zero factor boosts. I don't know how I have 24 boosters, but maybe that's the reason why it's so important to get to make these upgrades less expensive. Like I feel like I should try to get something like this and this. And um, the base is reduced by four if it's over seven. I'm not sure if I really want that. I, I may really want the odd, odd in odd number dynamic challenges. Like, that may be pretty crucial. Um, because it looks like where I am currently, I don't even have enough ordinal points to get another factor shift. Probably just because a few challenge completions. So, yeah, I probably, maybe I should exit the challenge, perhaps. Or I should just, you know, I should just do this. Um, and then probably this. That's probably the best idea. Um, however... Okay, and I just need to mark up. Hopefully I can, at least I can mark up. And this gives me E28, which is enough to factor shift, which immediately I max out. So I, I think I should just exit the Omega challenge, but then go back into it. And hopefully, um, yeah, one, eight, and then use the same booster build as before, because the base is reduced by four if it's over seven. I feel like that's a pretty important part of it. So, let's see, I can get up to E26. Um, I only have one decrementy somehow. I have no idea how it's only one decrementy, but I guess I'm just gonna take it. Um, can't really do anything with the factors. I don't have a single factor shift, which is odd. I guess I want to do a factor shift because I don't have many factors. Um, you can see I'm already to here. Um, it doesn't seem like it's getting me much. I can't even get any decrementy at all. I should probably do another factor shift. This, I, I can also get E34 out of this. Maybe this factor shift works better. Nope. It's not doing... This is really baffling. How am I supposed to get anywhere? Um, and like with... The singularity function build. Like I'm at singularity one. Maybe maybe I should do this. Aha. E E31 decrementy. Despite my ordinal points that seem like they. Like if I get this, this makes no sense. Why can't I get as far as I could before? This this is such a confusing challenge to be in. Seriously, I don't know. Okay, I guess I'll just exit and re-enter because 
um, it looked like it, w I, w it w I was successful in base 5. So, uh, yeah, so probably factor shift, factor shift, factor shift. Uh, really, I, I now got the time wall again. And I should probably be using this again. So I can, oh, no, no, not that. I, I need to, I want to be using this one to get more singularity stuff. I should probably not be maxing everything, except it is maxing everything. Uh, yeah, I, I can, actually, I can just do that. So, okay, base five. Here we go. This is the base that really matters. So I'm not exactly sure. I guess I want to just get E6 ordinal points so I can get these factors, except I can't get as far as I could before. Oh, it's because I don't have the booster upgrades. Probably. It's so weird. Why, like everything's just reset, and then now I can't even mark up. Um, and e twenty seven, e twenty eight again. This is one of the most. This is probably the most confusing challenge I've ever, I've ever been in, because, yeah, fourth time around. I know. Hope hopefully I will. I mean, maybe I should even do two and eight because. You know, the two is you can't buy factors, so yeah, one and eight is better. This time, get these first, and then get the singularity function upgrades. And hopefully this will work. So, yeah, I'm already noticing this is... I, I can... Yeah, th this looks like it's a lot better already. So, base seven, base six, base five. Here's the important one. And I can't get back to where I was before. What is this? This is the weirdest chat. How did I get, I, I, yeah, your factors are useless. <sighs> what did I mess up? Or what did I do before that I can't do now? This makes no sense. It's literally the exact same thing as before, except it's, uh, oh my god, what is happening? How am I supposed to do this? It feels like it's just RNG, or, or just stuff I, seriously, I, don't, I do not know what I'm doing. I really, really do not know what I'm doing. Um, maybe I should do, uh, I don't know what I should do. I should maybe be careful about maxing all in base 5, maybe, that's it I'll do. So, like this. Except it's maxing all without even my input. Yeah, oh my god, what do I do? I feel like I'm completely stuck right now. Like, I'm using the same strategies as before, yet it doesn't work. May okay, maybe I have an idea. I'm going to go back in the challenge. Sixth time around. Trying, trying to to take advantage of buying booster upgrades in challenge 8. And just do the first couple factor shifts. Get these. Get these. But don't get the auto clicker, auto clicker for maxing all. With here, just do the same build as always. Get that. So now get up to 5 factor shifts. It's still maxing all. What? How is it maxing all though? Seriously? What? What? This this makes. Okay, now I have a new idea. Seventh time through. Um, this is to delay um, getting the singularity function upgrades. That's probably what I'm doing. I that must this must be it because it's boosting decrementy gain and that's just hurting production. So get down, get up to five factor shifts like this, and. Do it like this. You can see I only have one decrementy. And now I'm up to, I'm finally up to omega to the omega times three. Finally. Now I get the singularity function upgrades. And there we go. Seventh times the charm. I know. <laughs> Here we go. This is, this is quite a lot of, of decrementy. This is allowing me to get probably somewhere around 4E36 or E4E36 decrementy in a day. 
and if I can capitalize on this, I can get even more. This should allow me to get up to like singularity level like 80 something. Like the thing is, I don't, I, I can't beat this challenge like here. So I think this is just decrementy farming. That's, that's the big thing. It's like three singularity levels. I know it's barely anything, but hopefully these three singularity levels will make a difference. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later and I can get a couple of these upgrades. Doesn't really matter all that much, but maybe pretty useful to get. But the big thing is the dark manifolds. I have E2, E37, decrementy. This will allow me to get all the way up to eight E37 dark manifolds, which will allow me, um, using this upgrade, to get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five singularity levels. So that means my singularity level is now 83, which I think is pretty good. Uh, let's see what the improvement was. It doesn't seem like much of an improvement for the decrementy. And I think I I went, yeah, I went just over the um, threshold for the 83rd singularity level. So I should probably go out of this Omega challenge at this point. I could, um, I could try to actually get more completions like this. People were suggesting that. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Um, people were suggesting I do that. Maybe, in, maybe a better option is to, um, try to get more, um, increment or incrementy, which I, at least I want to give that a try. If it's not like, I'm, I'm not sure if it's exactly worth it, but it, it's worth a try. So I may even try the baseless milestone, except am I still in challenge eight? Uh, yes, I'm still somehow in these challenges and I can't exit them. Maybe I should just collapse or something. That's maybe to, um, you know, click this to exit your, on my challenge, even though I exited it already, whatever. Um, yeah, I think at this point, do I have the factor boost auto buyer on? It's probably, why is this off and this on and it's still not, this is so buggy. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try reloading. Okay, I reloaded and uh, it says Backman Howard Ordinal, which I, I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah, these are both off for some reason. So yeah, I should probably try to get some at least it's just a bit of factor boost per second, um, just to help like get boosters and everything. I don't. I don't even think I need all that many boosters. I just want like a decent amount of incrementy, which I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure how much I should be going for. Maybe I should do something like how about this? If I do like the optimal singularity, which right now is 46, and then turn off the factor boost auto procedure. Um, let's see how much incrementy I can get with this. It's probably not a lot, but maybe it'll be something. It's only E69 incrementy. It's probably because I just don't have enough factor shifts, which makes me think I may want to go for Omega Challenge 2. Also, I don't even have challenge completions right now, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to um, do the challenge A stuff. Also, I'm using the wrong singularity function build. I'm, there's so many things I'm doing wrong right now. Yeah, I'll, 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 at the very least, I'll go for challenge eight completions, just to see if it does anything. I actually, I probably will do a good, a good amount. So there's, there's twelve completions. I could probably get thirteen if I um, lower the singularity to one. And then, why can't I get thirteen? This is, this is always, this is so tedious. Seriously, maybe I shouldn't even record this. Also, here's a new build I can make. I can do this. Because I yeah I think I needed an 82 I needed 82 singularity level to use this build so that could actually change things up once I actually once I turn off the factor shift auto procedure so like let's see if I do this um, I can factor shift down to base five and the problem with this build is it doesn't really buff anything in challenge eight it just allows I, I can get this and then I can get that so I feel like. It's a better idea to do this, which I can also, Singularity 83 allows me to do this build to the exact function, which I think is pretty good. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I can't, um, oh, it's because I need to, I need to probably max all there. That's probably, that could be two completions there. And that was just one, unfortunately. So 
this is base 5, max everything, um, E44. So maybe here, I'm not exactly sure what the best strategy is. I can get this. Maybe I should just keep this current build. And maybe this will give me something. I know I can get one more. Um, I, I, I know I can get one more challenge rate completion. So this gives me E44, which that means I definitely I want a different build to actually use the to th this. So maybe what I can do I can do this, um, which this build which yeah that that it looks like I got another completion there. So let, let's see how how far I can I can get. Maybe I can get another completion if I can get another completion of challenge eight. That would be. Oops, nope, don't do that. I think another completion of challenge eight. That would be pretty amazing. I'm not sure if, if I can do that, but um, it's so, something I, I can try to go for. So this is the max amount of ordinal points I can get um, with this build. I probably want to... I feel like I've gotten more ordinal points than this. Maybe it's just because of... Um, not a singular level, but maybe like factor boosts. So here, I think I can... Yeah, I can go. I can use this build, allowing me to hopefully. Uh, no, it does nothing. And you still need E forty nine. I I keep I keep underestimating how hard this last completion is. Any anyway, I at, at least at least there's a couple more singularity function builds that will help me. There's also this by max singularity functions, which yeah, I it just spends a hundred refund points not doing anything. Um. I can I can use this. T oh, that's what that does. Um, it's not a very smart build maker, but it does something. So, yeah, at least I can do that. So um, I'll just exit the challenge now. Let's see how much increment I'll get because I feel like with this, I'll be able to get a lot more. At least if I go into a better singularity level. So it's still only giving me e sixty nine. Probably, probably because this is just I don't have enough factor boost for anything. So now I, I'm really not sure. I'm at a crossroads. Do I want to? I, th I think I should just go Omega Challenge 2 at this point. So yeah, here is Omega Challenge. I, I know the, the last bit was a waste, but at least I could check out some new singularity builds. Um, yeah, so I can get I can get all of these double double the production of incrementing. I don't think they even do anything, but because the challenge is all doublings are disabled. So. I think, do I have any challenge, do I have like any, any regular challenge? Yes, I do. And I can't, and then the other thing is you can't enter even number challenges. So I definitely need a different, or a, um, yeah, I need a build like this. I think this is all I can do. I don't know why I got that, but whatever. And then I should probably lower the singularity. And this isn't really doing much. I don't know how I'm supposed to get any more, more than this. Should I? I probably just want, maybe want factor boosts. Yeah, that's probably what I want because this gives me boosters. Like I only have E6 boosters. Okay, at least I want the 8E8 booster. And probably I should increase my singularity level at this point. Oh, no. Okay. It looks like singularity level 1 is actually optimal here because it must be some sort of quirk of um, this Omega Challenge. Uh, making just everything or making all the doublings disabled so yeah at least i can get this this one this 8e8 booster upgrade in a reasonable amount of time and this will hopefully allow me to get more incrementy i hope because e40 something is definitely not enough here's the upgrade so let's see if this did anything uh, i'm getting 2061 factor boost per second so i it's, a, it's done something, but the real test is how is what how much incrementing am I going to be able to get? Um, 37, 45, 46, ooh, 50, 51. Honestly, I should just I should just go into a high incrementing or singularity level like this. I'm not exactly sure what the optimal singularity is, because like in the short term, I think it's optimal t to go a little lower, like 45. If I go too high, if I go all the way to the end, you can see I get less incrementing. I think a good middle ground is somewhere around 55, um, maybe even a little less, like 53 or something like that. And this should allow me to get enough incrementy 
every second. This this still does nothing, which is a shame, but it should allow me to get enough incrementy per second. Like like by judging by the rate this is increasing, I should be able to get somewhere around E60 incrementy in a day. So that will that'll definitely help me get this reward. Um, yeah, this reward will definitely be buffed. I'm not sure, exactly sure how buffed it will be, but it will be buffed by to to a certain degree. So, yeah, seen a bit.